I mean, just let's get into it. I mean, uh, I mean, stem cells, what are they? People don't know it. Uh, can you tell us what stem cells do in your bodies and how they help us heal? Yeah, so a mesenchymal stem cell, think of it like the manager on the construction site. It's not a stem cell like you think. These will not turn into different types of tissue. They're not gonna magically heal things. So it was Dr. Arnold Kaplan discovered them in the early 90s. He named them. He's a professor at Case Western University. We've worked with him in the past, been to lots of conferences with him. And what he found was you have these things in your body that live on your capillaries and they're called pericytes. So imagine my arms at a capillary, they're wrapped around like there's some sort of like octopus looking thing there. And when you're injured, they come off, they go to the area and they guide the repair and regeneration. So those pericytes are the mesenchymal stem cells. And again, they're like the manager seeking out inflammation. And when they find problems, they'll then start sending out these different signals. They were originally called extracellular vesicles. Now they're calling them exosomes. But these are the delivery devices for uh, what they send out. They're like cytokines, signaling proteins, chemokines or chemical signals. Uh, trophic factors. These will guide neurons for regeneration of nerves. So they're guiding that. They're helping to reprogram the immune system. Basically, it's like hitting the factory reset button. If they're attacking the body, they'll reprogram them to stop. That's why they're so good for autoimmune diseases and why they're so good for joint health, because the immune system plays a huge role in repairing and regenerating joints. Well, the problem is, as we age, we, we lose them. By age 18 for women, age 21 for men, we lose 90% of our capillaries because we're not growing taller. We don't need all that extra blood flow. Thus, you lose 90% of your pericytes, which are your mesenchymal stem cells. And now you don't have that ability to heal like you did. Now, when you hurt your knee, white blood cells rush to the area and they can only heal via fibrosis, which is scar tissue. It's a patch up job and it'll keep it from getting worse, but it's not gonna allow it to be healed because your natural growth factors in your blood can't get past it. So with mesenchymal stem cells, we, we're just concentrating them in bulk, like as if you were a little kid. And the cool part is we don't have to take them from you. We can take them from the youngest, healthiest source, which would be like umbilical cord tissue, because it's only nine months old. It doesn't have a predisposition to an immune system. It's, all, it's so young, it's not gonna have any of these autoimmune factors that are compromising the mesenchymal stem cells going on so it can do its job the right way and we can replicate them the fastest they lack this thing called human leukocyte antigen hla that's the marker that would tell you it's from your tissue like if you needed a kidney transplant and i gave you a kidney your body would try to reject it forever because we have different hla everyone does you'd have to take immunosuppressants to keep it mesenchymal stem cells don't exhibit that so they don't get rejected and in fact they found that's why they believe women that have had kids live longer on average than women that haven't because the baby can detect through the umbilical cord there's a nerve that'll tell them if the mom's hurt and will actually send over mesenchymal stem cells to help mom. So it's like women pregnant get a free MSC IV and it's a ton of benefits to it. So it's a natural process. We just, we have to create the scenario in the lab and then put those cells to the right place. So it's super safe super easy. It's the way you're supposed to heal. And it's, you know, you're not taking a pill for a pill for a pill.